Josh Cooper live at UNF 17. I'm here with special guest. Hey. How we doing, Rod I'm doing Malik. great, brother. Thank you so much for having me, bro. Yeah, Good to be here. Thank you for taking the time. Thank we you, know brother. you're here to uh, face off Rojas Zarate, the winner of that. Yes, you sir. excited for that? Super excited, man. I'm just excited to, to be going into the octagon. I mean... If there's any way I can get into the octagon, I'll take it. Right, you bring up a good point. We were just talking off uh, camera. So UNF9 yeah. was your last fight. Yeah. Vicious head kick. Um, vicious. And vicious head kick. I just <laughs> saw it. You guys got to watch that. Go to UNF and watch that. But um, And no one, no one wants to fight you after that. Uh, talk to us about kind of like how annoying that must be. It is annoying. It's frustrating. But at the same time, I'm going to take it as a compliment. Because right. it's, a, it's even more confirmation that I am that guy. I am that guy that these people don't want to fight. I am that guy that these people decline. I am that guy that these people pull out the fights for. Right. So as much as it is annoying and frustrating, it's also building my confidence. And I'm just going to take it into stride and know that I'm game. At the end of the right. day, I'm game. And whoever I step in there with, doesn't matter if it's a champion or not, I'm going to go and do my thing. And my thing is always going to be beautiful to watch yeah 100 percent. now it's it's got to feel good at least now knowing that you do have a future opponent 100 percent. right it's so, not super clear but you know i'll take whatever i can get at this point and right. i don't i don't want to talk too much because i know my opponents they're going to be watching these videos so i don't want to say too much for them to even be like nah fuck that even more you know right no 100 percent. 100 percent. you want the actual fight to take place yeah but unf9 long time ago is there any challenge for you to take that t long enough time off in the in the ring or does it not matter no it doesn't matter to me i i've been fighting since 15 16 right. you know this is this is a privilege to be here and it's a privilege to be able to fight to be able to get recognition to be able to help your family so you know i don't, I don't really see this as a pressure because this is really a privilege and the pressure is outside of life you know with things that are going on in our day-to-day -day lives right. that people don't really see so it's a blessing to be here it's a blessing to be able to to fight you know right. i think that that'd be really powerful for people to hear like talk to us about exactly what you just mentioned like fighters it's it's not a profession for many right yeah for sure and all not only fighting but dealing with the day-to-day -day life yeah, right 100%. especially for you not like not getting an opponent 100 percent. What, what are the struggles look like Man. for that well i will say that when i don't get an opponent or when things don't fall into place you really have to kind of fall back into thinking or, or knowing that everything is happening perfectly for you right. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. And if you can keep this mindset, then everywhere you look, everywhere you go, there's gonna be, it's an opportunity, you right. know? And at the end of the day, there's people out here that, that are dying of cancer and their parents are fucked up this way. Their kids, they're seeing their kids struggle and people are, you know, they have it fucked up out here. People are sleeping on the streets tonight, you know? And, right. and we're over here, blessed, suited and booted with yeah. mics and, and enjoying it. fights, you know? So it's a privilege to be here and, and I'm gonna make every second of this count. Right, and just like kind of hearing your mindset on it, it's easy to see why you're successful. Very healthy mindset Thank you. To, to grow Thank and, you, and be a success. So fingers crossed on that <laughs> Thank fight, you, yes, right? Sir. We want to see you back there after that. I'll say it again, vicious head <laughs> Thank kick, you, brother. right? Let's go. Um, where can the people follow you? So when you do finally fight, yes, they, sir. Can, they, could, they could see you it. You can follow me at Rod Malik on Instagram and, um, you know, follow the journey from there. Let's go. No words need to be said. Rod Malik, appreciate the time, brother. Signing off. Hey.